thank you for that. This is, this is something we needed to have, Mr. Chairman, and I do thank you. You know, I sit on the Energy and Commerce Committee and I've witnessed um, what has been going on with, with bloated and bureaucracies and it's very frustrating, especially when it comes to energy and climate. And I see this rush to green. Look, I'm, I have the honor and privilege of representing the entire coast of Georgia, 100 miles of pristine coastline. And it also happens to be my home where I've lived all my life. And, and no one cares about the environment more than I do. So I, I, I discharge this theory that we don't care about the environment. We do care about the environment. But at the same time, what I've seen by well, this administration has been nothing less than a, an all-out war against fossil fuels. Day one, this administration declared war against fossil fuels. You know, we, 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 we both parties share the same common goal, and that is to decrease carbon emissions. It is not to decrease choices. The United States has decreased our carbon emissions more in the last decade than the next 12 countries combined while growing our economy. We've proven that it can be done. And that's even today. Today, look at what's happening. The EPA has got a new power plan rule that will have significant new requirements on our baseload generation. More regulations. Unbelievable. I would submit to you that what is going on in our economy right now is self-inflicted. Day one, when this administration declared war on fossil fuels, price of gasoline went up, inflation went up, interest rates went up, and now we got the mess that we've got, self-inflicted, unnecessary. It, it, and, it, and it just frustrates me to no end. Mr. Adele, I want to ask you, because you, you know a lot about climate policy and about free market environment, what type of consequences do you think that this, this administration and their policies have had on Americans, on everyday Americans, whether they make over 400000 a year or whether they make less than 400000 a year? Thank you, Representative Carter. Um, you know, I think the consequences of these policies are, are really bad uh, economically on American, the American people. They're also bad environmentally. Uh, there are... Uh, Economic growth and opportunity are uh, the basis of uh, environmental protection. So when you uh, degrade the economy, you will degrade the... Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I have breaking news to share with you this Saturday. Lawmakers in several states have pushed to expand state tax credits there are currently two plans that could send billions of dollars to low-income households. The Biden administration is also planning to take a major step towards helping Americans benefit from Democrats' climate law. My dearest friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. If you'd like to enter these weekly giveaways, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My dearest friends, the more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances of winning these weekly giveaways. Many advocacy groups say that the state tax credits are more crucial than ever, as many low-income families struggle to financially recover from the crisis. And as other government relief programs come to an end, the federal government in 2020 expanded its tax credits to send advanced monthly payments to low-income families with children and for the first time included very low-income earners. It helped cut childhood poverty, but the federal credit expansion ended in December 2021. Democratic Assembly members Mike Gibson of Gardenia and Miguel Santiago of Los Angeles recently proposed two bills that would expand California's Earned Income Tax Credit and its Young Child Tax Credit. One of these bills would raise a minimum credit to $300 from its current of $1, regardless of the number of dependents, as long as recipients make less than $30,000 a year. It has also been confirmed that more parents will be eligible for the Empire State Child Credit. This is following Governor Kathy Hochul's announcement that parents with children under the age of four will now qualify. Previously, the Empire State Child Credit 
was only available for parents with children between the ages of 4 and 17. One of the eligibility requirements for the Empire State Child Credit is at least one parent must be a resident of New York State for at least one year or married to a full-year resident. The Empire State Child Credit qualifications require that parents have a federal child tax credit, additional child tax credit, or credit for other dependents. According to Governor Hochul's office, if you claim the federal child tax credit, the amount of the Empire State Child Tax Credit is a greater of 33% of the portion of the federal child tax credit and the federal additional child tax credit or $100 multiplied by the number of qualifying children. Other child care items in Governor Hochul's budget deal include implementing new comprehensive programs to ensure high-quality, affordable child care, as well as $500 million for a workforce retention grant program, and $25 million to support the employer child care tax credit. The Biden administration will also take a major step towards helping low-income Americans benefit from the Democrats' climate law that was passed last year. The Department of Housing and Urban Development will announce the availability of nearly $1 billion for low-income multifamily housing to become more energy efficient, water efficient, and resilient to climate disasters. The funding comes from the Green and Resilient Retrofit Program, which is a lesser-notice initiative created by the Inflation Reduction Act. The climate law offers households thousands of dollars to switch from fossil fuel-powered appliances to cleaner versions including up to $7,500 for a new electric vehicle and up to $2,000 for a new electric heat pump. Yet many low-income Americans may not be aware of these subsidies or they may lack the time and resources to claim them. To address this issue, the law provided the Department of Housing and Urban Development with $837.5 million in grant funding and $4 billion in loan commitment authority to implement the Green and Resilient Retrofit Program. This will pay for owners of low-income housing to install rooftop solar panels, heat pumps, and other climate-friendly upgrades. Currently, the Department of Housing and Urban Development helps property owners offer reduced rent to low-income tenants by paying a portion of their rent. Under this program, these property owners can apply for grants or loans to cover upgrades that improve energy efficiency, reduce water use, or increase resilience to weather disasters. The spending could trickle down to tenants in the form of lower utility bills without higher rent. Officials estimated hundreds of properties will receive the new funding, covering tens of thousands of households. As climate change has increased, the frequency and severity of natural disasters. It is often low-income communities that get hit the hardest. The new program comes as House Republicans seek to repeal the Clean Energy Tax Credit and the Inflation Reduction Act that they view as reckless government spending. So, dear friends, what are your thoughts about changing your appliances to cleaner versions? Please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Well, my beautiful and most dearest friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you, thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community and for joining me here every single day. Remember, dear friends, I'll be announcing more winners next Friday for the Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter these weekly giveaways, all you have to do, friends, is click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and then comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed weekend.